At the body of a missing Pakistani journalist, Saeed Salim Shehzad, has been identified by his family. And uh, the police have informed uh, Shehzad's uh, family of the same. Remember, this is uh, the prominent Pakistani journalist who went missing over the weekend. Let's go across to Shafiq, who's joining us with more details. Shafiq, a huge shock uh, because this man was on his way uh, to actually uh, go to a television station. The report he filed had raised huge controversy. Yes, so far it is not clear who, who is involved in the kidnapping and later the killing of Sayyid Salim Shahzad. He was a very, very senior and a very prominent journalist of Pakistan. In fact, he was uh, going to a TV channel on Sunday evening when he, was, when, when he went missing. And later on, uh, after three days, his body was found in Alamgeet, which is hardly one, uh, 30 kilometers uh, southeast of Islamabad. And the family has identified his body. Uh, the the, the post-mortem and uh, the police has taken the body uh, to mortuary and the post-mortem will be conducted later on to know the exact cause of his death. But so far, police is saying nothing that who has kidnapped uh, uh, Sayyid Salim Shahzad and later on killed him. But it is clear it is a really setback to the whole journalist community uh, because uh, for the last many years, journalists are being killed everywhere, not only in the tribal region of Pakistan, but also uh, in Karachi and other parts of Pakistan. Tamanna? Now, uh, Shafiq, uh, reports coming in that this prominent Pakistani journalist's body bore marks of torture and he had filed a report and made some facts public which hurt a lot of people. Now, what was that controversial report that uh, this journalist, Saeed Salim Shahzad, had filed? Sayyid Salim Shahzad has been reporting for the last uh, many years. I personally believe about for, for the last uh, two decades he, he has been writing from Karachi. He has done uh, many uh, controversial stories, what I can say, because uh, according to uh, my information, uh, he has written many times the story about Osama bin Laden, whereabouts, and also about his death on different occasions. So uh, he remained, though he was very popular, but sometimes he has done many controversial stories. Just a few uh, days before, he has done a story on the, uh, on the uh, uh, Pakistan naval air base uh, uh, attack. He has done the story, and it was, uh, uh, see, it was, uh, like many analysts were saying that it was uh, not correct that much, because he, he according to uh, his sources, said that it, it was some Navy personnel who were detained uh, by the Navy officials on the charges of their link with Al-Qaeda. In fact, they, they, they played the role uh, in the attack of uh, Pakistan Navy uh, Air Base. So he has done just few days before a, a controversial story, uh, but there is no doubt. Uh, but but uh, nobody knows so far that who has... Uh, 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 who picked him up Absolutely. and later on killed him. So far, it is not clear. Well, difficult to say, but uh, thank you for that report. Clear line being drawn there and uh, would be, again, very surprising to say, is this just a coincidence? This journalist uh, puts out a report which uh, annoys a lot of people in power. Then he's found missing and now his body has been found near his car bearing marks of torture. Has he been silenced for exposing the truth?